I started in the film business in college. My floor mate and then housemate in college, his younger brother made Super 8 movies. And um, while I had studied film at Michigan State University where I was going to school and enjoyed it, I had no idea that one could actually make a career out of it, especially being in Michigan. So Hollywood might as well have been as far away as New Zealand or further still. And um, But my, my friend Ivan, his brother, Sam Raimi uh, was making these Super 8 movies in high school. He came up to Michigan State University and I said, we should make a movie here at college. So we made a 50 minute long movie called The Happy Valley Kid, the story of a student driven mad, the, um, which I starred in. It was my, um, and we ran it on campus and because it spoke to college students, um, we made it for like $800 in Super 8, ran the sprockets off it till it eventually disappeared, but made like, I don't know, three or four thousand dollars profit uh, after we paid for the advertising and doing everything we thought we knew how to make movies we made another movie to run at school and it totally bombed and then we said we really know how to make movies and we lost a bunch of money and with that um, said we're going to drop out of school I was actually in graduate school at the time and Sam was a, uh, a sophomore we had lived together in an apartment that year and um, were being evicted for making too much noise at night um, uh, doing the sound on our movies in the apartment. We, we decided that horror was the entree at the time into the film industry. Um, there were drive-ins and uh, horror movies were a staple of every drive-in chain. So we thought, well, we'll make a great drive-in movie that'll really scare people. And um, that's, that kind of led us into the film business. One of the things you have to do when, you, when you're starting is be able to do everything, to be the cameraman, the lighting people, make the blood mixture so that it looks just right, get the right food coloring and caro syrup and coffee and whatever it is. So that, um, so we really learned on, on our first movie, Evil Dead, to do it all ourselves, how, how every job functioned and um, learn the sound process and editorial. We, we hired a professional sound people and professional editors at the end. Um, and through that process, we actually, our assistant editor, um, on Evil Dead, we took the movie to New York, was Joel Cohn. And uh, he, and, he and his brother Ethan were kicking around New York with another guy who was their friend, Barry Sonnenfeld. And so um, we kind of hooked up with them in the, like, 1980. There's an inherent difference between feature films and television. And um, feature films are a director's medium at the end of the day. The set um, is run by the director. And the whole process kind of centers around that. And television is more a medium of the executive producer and the star and the concept. And um, uh, there's something about the immediacy and speed of television that is really appealing to me. That um, there's a black hole that has to be filled every week. You have to get the scripts and get that machine running in the production machine. So there's a, a process um, and, and science to just the making of a television show, which is slightly different from a film where people come together for a short period of time, they shoot for 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 days, and then they go off on their own, and you may never see them again. Mm. TV, if it works, and uh, you know, it's a four, five, six year process, and that's, um, uh, that has an appeal, that has a real appeal. They were doing 24 telly features in six different genres and they came to us and said, guys, will you do four Hercules, kind of in the tongue-in-cheek tone of Army of Darkness. And we went, Hercules? We, we want to do Conan. We don't want to do it tongue-in-cheek. And they came back and said, Conan, the rights were all screwed up. And um, so we ended up doing um, five Hercules movies overall. And why we didn't bring the Army of Darkness tongue-in-cheek that we didn't think had a broad mass appeal uh, to a television audience, we did bring the humor that we like to the show. November 15th, 1993, we had four projects shooting on the exact same day. Sam was making The Quick and the Dead with Sharon Stone and Gene Hackman that I was um, one of the executive producers on. We were shooting a Hercules tele feature here. We were shooting a Dark Man directed DVD, the kind of the first direct to DVD based on a franchise title. And we were shooting Time Cop in Vancouver with Jean-Claude Van Damme. And so we were just two guys with a couple of interns or lower associates. So we were spread out all over the globe. And um, 
uh, and so Sam was had his hands full, truthfully, with Sharon Stone and Gene Hackman, and I kind of kept my finger on the pulse of the other three productions. They gave us the order to shoot Hercules, and we knew we had to be shooting beyond the air in, I think it was May of 94, so we had to be shooting in the winter, in the Northern Hemisphere's winter, and we said, well, that's not going to work, so um, I was sending a gentleman, Eric Grundeman, who was this fantastic guy, I worked with the line producer, down to Australia and South Africa to look there, and in the parking lot of Universal outside our little bungalow, there was a guy, Courtney Conti, who we had known from other other things and said, where have you been? He says, I have been down in New Zealand. It's an undiscovered production treasure shooting Mrs. Piggle Wiggle's Theater with, um, I think, Gene Stapleton. And I went, New Zealand? I said, yeah, it's fantastic. So um, I said, well, maybe on the way to Australia, guys, you should stop and look at New Zealand. So um, uh, hooked up with somebody Originally, I think with Chloe, but I'm not positive because I didn't do that first per, uh, trip to look in New Zealand. And um, Eric and one of the other executive producers and a guy who worked for us got as far as New Zealand and we never went any further and said, this is the rolling green hills and everything that we saw to restage Hercules in kind of a television friendly fashion. I went to see a local production, a movie that had been shot down here called Desperate Hours. I'm sorry, Desperate Remedies, and uh, went with the director, and we watched the movie and went, oh, she'd be great, and Kevin Smith be great, oh, Michael, that's that guy, Michael Hurst, and shaved his eye, and we kind of cast, we said, oh, these, they've got such a great cast, Cliff Curtis, and all, all these different people in it, so we kind of, based on that movie, took characters and said they would make a great part in Hercules, or in this episode, or that episode.